Ready for this one? <laughs> That's what it's like having a corgi. End of video. wanted to make a little video summarizing what it is like having a corgi because I like making videos of my dog. He is my pride and joy. Let's, Let's be, honest be honest here. here. So my dog's name is Fry and yes, it is named from Fry from Futurama. What is the meaning of this symbol? That's a plus sign, you pointy head loony! Great character. So we got Fry in New York City. I used the Mayflower Corgi Club breeders list and found breeders around, sent them some messages, and sure enough, we found Fry's breeder. And we traveled about an hour outside of the city because at the time we were living in Brooklyn. Drove up about an hour and a half and met him, fell in love, and here we are. So there are some things about owning a corgi, and the first one I will say, which is probably at the top of the list to know about corgis, is they are very smart. They are little smarty pants. So with that comes the challenge of stimulating them. And dogs can be very complicated, and dogs can be very not complicated. I'm going to put corgis, if there was a spectrum of complicatedness, corgis are at the end of it very end. They're complicated dogs. You almost have to keep them busy because they are herding dogs. So if you are taking a corgi and moving into an apartment or home that doesn't have a large outdoor space, then you need to make sure that you are taking care of their little brains. This can be done by teaching them tricks or buying some of those brain toys but we also try to continuously teach him new things. I recently made a video teaching him how to use buttons. So that's been the newer trick under his belt, but that's a way to keep him stimulated. And then just like every dog, but I just think this is so dang cute. He does know some words. Do you wanna go on a walk? What about a treato? Do you wanna to go to the dog park? What about, where's Brett? <laughs> <laughs> what about, where's Stella? The next thing to know about owning a corgi is that this breed is very stubborn. Very stubborn little boogers. I'm going to tell you that right now. Since they are so smart, point number one, it gives them the power to be a little sassy and stubborn. So for types of dogs, I would not say corgis are the most laid back, but I don't think it's a negative either. Let's just say corgis are very sassy. I'll leave it at that. The next thing I want to make sure you know, because if you're watching this and you're thinking, I want to get a corgi, they are loud, loud, loud dogs. dogs. They know how to talk and they know how to communicate. They know how to use their vocal cords. So if you're looking for a quiet dog, don't expect that out of a corgi. Just don't. And lastly, the thing to know about having a corgi is that this breed is very social. So if you're looking to have a single dog household, just know that you are going to need to be taking your corgi out to dog parks or doggy play dates. Doggy play dates are my favorite. They just make my heart warm. They really do. Oh. How are you doing today? Are you having a good day? Do you have anything to say? Anything to say to them? <laughs> so, if you're thinking about getting a corgi, just oh. know, here he goes, here he goes, he's gonna start communicating. Say something. Go tell him. <laughs> Told ya. Hard to say, thank you for watching. <laughs> well, 
Well, that's all I wanted to share. I know this is short and sweet. I could go on for hours about this dog. I really can. If you're thinking about getting a Corgi, they are incredible dogs. I do not regret this. I want 18 more. I just want to have a, a flock of Corgis. There's this guy on YouTube. He has like a farm of Corgis. I want that. Leave a comment if you have any questions, I will gladly answer them. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.